Hey everyone, in today's video I want to show you how to install Windows on your Steam Deck. Let's get started right away. Installing Windows on your Steam Deck requires just a few components, mainly software, though some hardware accessories are also necessary. For the hardware, all you really need is a USB flash drive and a USB-C hub to connect it to your Steam Deck, or alternatively, an SD card like I used in this video. I highly recommend using a separate PC as I did in this guide. But you can also use your Steam Deck and follow similar steps with the Linux version of Ventoy. All the links mentioned can be found in the video description. The first software you'll need is Ventoy, a tool that lets you boot multiple ISOs from a single external storage device without reformatting it every time you add a new ISO. This saves you from repeatedly formatting the storage device, making it simpler to recover if you make any mistakes. Visit Ventoy's GitHub page, Click on Releases on the right side, then scroll down to Assets and download the zip file labelled for Windows. Extract the contents into a folder on your PC. The next software you'll need is Gparted, an ISO used to create partitions on your Steam Deck's internal SSD. This new partition will be where you install Windows. To download it, Go to gparted.org and click on the amd64.iso download link. To install Windows on your Steam Deck, you'll need the Windows installer. You can find it on Microsoft's Windows 11 page. Go to the Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO section and select Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO from the drop-down menu. Click Download, choose your language, and then you'll receive a download link for the Windows ISO which is approximately 6 to 7 gigabytes in size. Steam has made Windows drivers available to ensure that your audio, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SD card reader, and APU function properly. You can download the necessary Windows drivers for your Steam Deck from the Steam Deck Windows Resources support page. For the Steam Deck OLED, it is important that you'll get the latest BIOS through the SteamOS beta update. We'll get back to that later. Extract all the files into one folder so you can easily transfer them to your SD card or flash drive later. Once your flash drive or SD card is ready with all the necessary software, you can begin transforming your Steam Deck into a Windows device. We'll be using an SD card in this case to avoid the need for a USB hub or dock. To run both the Gparted and Windows 11 ISOs from a single SD card without reformatting it multiple times, you'll need Ventoy, which makes the process much simpler. To install Ventoy on your flash drive or SD card, plug it into your PC and open the Ventoy folder you extracted earlier. Run Ventoy2disk.exe, select the storage device you want to install Ventoy on, in this case my SD card, and click Install. Once Ventoy is set up, copy over the Gparted ISO, the Windows 11 ISO, and a folder containing the Windows drivers for the Steam Deck. You can then insert the SD card into your Steam Deck. Next, update your Steam Deck to the latest BIOS by installing the SteamOS Beta Update 3.6.9 or later. To do this, go to your settings. Select the Beta System Update channel. download the update, and then restart your Steam Deck. Next, you'll need to boot from the SD card or flash drive connected to your Steam Deck using the Boot Manager. First, shut down your Steam Deck. Once it's off, hold the volume down button and the power button until you hear a chime. After the chime, release the power button, but keep holding the volume down button until the Boot Manager appears. Once you're in the Boot Manager, select the SD card or flash drive and click it to launch Ventoy. You should then see both the Windows and Gparted ISOs listed. Now you'll need to partition your Steam Deck's SSD. Without doing this, you likely won't be able to install Windows 11 on the slash home partition, and it could result in wiping SteamOS from your drive. If you prefer to have only Windows on your Steam Deck, you can use Ventoy to wipe all partitions leaving the combined partition as unallocated or formatting it as NTFS. However, I don't recommend this since 
SteamOS offers the best Steam Deck experience. It's better to keep the option to switch between both operating systems. To start, select Gparted in Ventoy. You can run it in normal mode, but if that doesn't work, try using Grub2. When Gparted opens, you'll need to go through a few initial settings before partitioning. First, select Gparted Live, default settings, then choose Don't Touch Key Map, and finally, pick your language. If you're using English, simply press A on the Steam Deck until you reach the main screen. Now you're ready to partition your SSD. It's easier to navigate by plugging in a mouse and keyboard at this point. If your SD card or flash drive is the only device visible, switch to your SSD from the drop-down menu in the upper right corner. To partition your SSD, right-click, left trigger, on the slash home partition, or the largest one on the SSD, and select resize move. Move the right edge to the left, creating a new unallocated partition in the empty space. Click Resize Move in the bottom right to confirm, then hit the green check mark in the toolbar to apply the changes. Gparted will now process the new partition sizes, which could take a few minutes depending on your SSD's size. Once it's done, press the power button to exit Gparted and power down. Now you're ready to install Windows on your Steam Deck. Before accessing the boot manager, unplug any other USB devices you are using, except for the flash drive. This is crucial to prevent any issues with the ISOs or Ventoy. Go back to the boot manager by holding the volume down and power buttons, then select the SD card or flash drive again. Once Ventoy opens, choose the Windows 11 ISO this time. Follow the setup process by selecting your preferred language and keyboard layout until you reach the Windows product key section. If you don't have a key, you can safely select I don't have a product key. Continue until you reach the Where do you want to install Windows screen. Scroll to the bottom and select the drive labelled Unallocated Space. Then click New and the system will automatically size the partition correctly. Simply click Apply. Windows will now begin installing onto the partition. Once the installation is complete, you'll go through an additional setup process. After installing Windows, the first thing I recommend doing is adjusting the screen orientation. Next, you'll need to install the drivers for your Steam Deck. Open File Explorer and click on the Ventoy drive. Navigate to the folder where you stored the Steam Deck drivers and start by installing any of them. If you're prompted to restart, hold off for now. It's easier to restart once all the drivers are installed. Proceed by clicking Install for the other drivers. For the audio drivers, you may notice there's no executable file. To install them, simply right-click, left trigger, on the file labeled Setup Information and choose Install. After all the drivers are installed, you can restart your Steam Deck. Now you're ready to use your Steam Deck with Windows, I recommend updating everything first. 
After that, you can install all your Game Pass games or titles like EA Sports FC, which normally wouldn't run on Steam OS. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Thank you.